Looks like someone has put a little template on here and done a little bit of burning. Uh, it's a plywood top, and the top layer has cracked significantly. But missing one furl. The brand is Raven. If you look at this here, you can see how badly the uh, this is canted in. There's a significant belly here that's dropped in. That is going to be at least in part due to the fact that that is pulled right away and the one behind it So those need to be fixed. The underside of this is, looks like a mahogany lawn type of a plywood. Okay, so this raven's almost ready to go out the door. Uh, what I did with it was a um, small thing. I put a new furl in there because it was missing and was slopping around. I actually took the one off there, put it down there, um, just uh, to make it so it wasn't so sloppy. Uh, I made a new nut. I cut the nut, slotted it um, to try and get additional width. I kept this the strings on the outside edges. Uh, that required me to put... Uh, three new um, frets in there so that it wasn't falling off the edge because the other frets were so sloppy the old ones that, um, that basically the strings weren't going to be on the frets this sits pretty nice it works pretty good um, going down I did a neck reset on this because uh, it was pretty bad it was probably around 130 uh, the neck has been reset and refinished and uh, this uh, this joint in here was full of epoxy. I went through the heel to steam it out and finished all the repaired all that the damage that was done from that. Um, on the inside, there was a brace on the bottom uh, underneath the sound hole right there that had to be um, on the back that had to be glued. There was also a brace on the front here and on the front here. Both of these needed to be glued. This was causing the entire top to. To, uh, go down I put a new uh, bridge uh, there's an there's a to raise the bridge up I put about a 40 thousandth of an inch shim underneath the bridge took the bridge off I realigned the um, the intonation because it was off by about four millimeters so that required me to move the the bridge back about four millimeters on this side um, that required um, me to basically patch the, the holes that were from the the uh, the bridge pins and um, and redo the bridge pin holes in the top. I also put a uh, a bridge um, plate underlay about a eighty thousandths of an inch thick piece of maple that goes basically around here to support the the strings a little bit better because the other thing was not in great shape. And uh, yeah, that basically is. So it was. The bridge was removed and re-glued. There's a new saddle. The braces have been glued on the inside, three of them. Um, there was a neck reset done. There was three new um, 
frets put in here there's a new nut and um, there's just a furl added there and that's basically put this thing out the action on this is now really nice it's about 80 thousandths of an inch 85 thousandths of an inch um, let's get this to focus where it should it's uh, it's pretty good uh, it's certainly playable uh, I did some refinishing the neck was was uh, basically rasped to oblivion I basically cleaned it up and uh, did some refinishing on it and that basically is this guitar pretty much done a few little cosmetic things I got to do to clean it up but it's pretty much done